find integral 0 to 2 pi cos raised to 5x dx. So here we have to find value of this integral. We are going to use the properties of definite integral in order to find value of this integral. That is by using the properties of definite integral we know that integral 0 to 2a f of x dx equal to integral 0 to a f of x dx plus integral 0 to a f of 2a minus x dx. By using that property, we can rewrite this integral as integral 0 to 2 pi cos raised to 5x dx equal to integral 0 to 2 pi that is instead of 2a we have to use here a here instead of 2 pi we are using pi cos raised to 5x dx that is this function itself plus integral 0 to pi f of 2a minus x what is 2a upper limit of this function here 2 pi cos raised to 5 of 2 pi minus x dx okay in the next step we are rewriting cos raised to 5 as cos x whole raised to 5 okay that is cos of 2 pi minus x whole raised to 5 now what is the value of cos of 2 pi minus x that is cos of 2 pi minus x is in the fourth quadrant okay since 2 pi is equivalent to 0 2 pi minus x will be on the second quadrant sorry fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant cos is a positive so we will get cos x itself since the pi is of even multiple we don't have we don't have to change the function as sign okay it will remain as it is that is cos of 2 pi minus x is cos x Sorry, it is even multiple of pi by 2. That is pi by 2 into 4 pi is 2 pi. So, we don't have to change our function. If we have a pi by 2 term here, that is 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, etc. We have to change the function in terms of sign. Okay. Next, integral 0 to pi cos raised to 5x dx plus integral 0 to pi cos x whole raised to 5. Okay. That is, this is equivalent to cos x. Now, next we are again using the property of definite integral that is integral 0 to a f of x dx equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So, instead of x, we are using here pi minus x. These two functions are equivalent according to this property. Now, what is cos pi minus x? Cos pi minus x in, in the Which quadrant? That is second quadrant. In the second quadrant, we know that only the sign term is positive. So, we have to rewrite it as minus cos x. Since it is not, uh, not the even multiple of, sorry, odd multiple of pi by 2, we don't have to change this function. That is cos of pi minus x is minus cos x. On rewriting, we will get minus cos x whole raised to 5. Now, since it is an even function, minus 1 minus 1 whole raised to 5 will becomes minus cos raised to 5x okay now this will and this get subtracted and we will get 0 here that is the value of integral integral 0 to 2 pi cos raised to 5x dx equal to 0 okay 